But by doing this, we're going to be much more likely to catch the big problems before they turn into big problems? Absolutely. So guys, this is a really nice thermostat. Uh, it usually comes with the house, a really fancy thermostat or like an old school mercury one. The hard thing about those, either the real fancy one, they have a lot of options. You got a lot of options to go into the programming, the settings, they're hard to see. There's no light to it. So a lot of times you make mistakes trying to adjust it and you just end up running your AC more than you really need or being uncomfortable in the house. And if your thermostat is an old school thermostat with the mercury slide button, those are very inaccurate. They use a lot of power. Again, you're uncomfortable in the house and ends up using a lot of energy. Now the solution to it is a nice thermostat that you can easily control and easily see what, is, what it's doing. So on the packaging, when you buy a filter at the store, it's gonna say 90 days. That is for everywhere else in the country, not here in Vegas. We live real close to the desert. Filters get dirty very, very quickly. And once your filter is dirty, air can no longer go through it. A little bit will go through it, but most of it will travel through the sides. And then it's gonna go in right on this gap right here. What this does is all the dust that you see here on the corner ends up in your system, causing a lot of breakdowns, causing your system to run longer. You waste a lot of energy and, and it's gonna have a lot of breakdown. So those filters here are usually a 30-day filter. It will change from household to household depending on how many people live there, what temperature your thermostat is set for, if you have pets, if you have carpet, all of that good stuff. So what I will do is bring your filter down every 30 days and compare it with a new one and you're going to be able to see the difference. So here's a quick tip to make your life easy when you change these filters. Because when you have two of these guys in your hands and you're trying to set them up there and trying to close the door behind you, that's not a lot of fun. So what I did is I have on my thermostat the fan set you on. That way my, my fan is always running. What that's going to do is going to help me to place those filters in place. And it will actually stay there for me. That way I can place them easily on the grill. and. Uh, my two hands are free so I can now close the door and be done with it. So what you guys see up here, this is your indoor coil. It connects with the outdoor unit through these copper lines over here. And it brings up the um, gas that pulls the heat out of your house and takes it outside through this other pipe. It's really important that this coil here is maintained, is inspected every year. We make sure that coil is nice and clean because 1 20th of an inch of dust on that coil will reduce your efficiency by 20%. So it's very important that we take a look at that. This is your drainage over here. As you can see this drain, this pan is rusted and ready to go. Your, your second emergency drain here has been capped off. So if there's any kinds of uh, overflow of water over here, this homeowner is gonna have a problem with water leaking through the ceiling. So what you guys see behind me here, this is the ductwork. This is how your cold air gets from your unit to every vent in the house. What we do when we come out here, we make sure those are all sealed. Oftentimes we find things that are disconnected. And as you can see here, this pipe actually makes a nice wide turn. So that way there's no blockage of airflow. A lot of times we find this pipes crunched up, pinched, leaking air, and you're just losing all your cool air up in the attic. So at this end of your system, you're gonna have your return pipe. This pipe here connects to where you change your filters every month and it brings out the hot air from the house into your unit. Now if this system here has any kind of leaks, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be pulling all the hot air and all the dust that's in the attic. You're gonna be sucking that in through here and you're gonna be getting your system contaminated. And, and it's gonna, your system is gonna take a lot longer to cool the house because it's now pulling air from the attic into your system. So instead of dealing with 70 degree temperature, you're gonna be dealing with 100 plus up here in the attic. 
This pipe is also important that it's nice and straight, no kinks, and it's also important that it's the right size of, for the unit. A lot of times they're undersized and your system suffocates trying to cool the house. So Brian, every manufacturer recommends you to have your system maintained twice a year. One for your air conditioning, one for your heating. Here's a checklist of everything that we're going to do when we come out to your house. Right now on the air conditioning visit, we're going to take your unit apart outside, wash the coils from the inside out, make sure the system is running efficiently. We're going to go through your wiring, high volume. I mean, the main thing with the, with the AC tune-up is keeping your unit clean and efficient. And we can also find problems that are still to come and give you a warning so that way you're not caught by surprise on a holiday or over the weekend when it's really really hot and hard to get anyone out here. That way you're being full, uh, doing a preventive maintenance versus waiting for something to break. In about six months we'll come back we're going to do a heating visit for you and that's more for safety. So we're going to check your gas pressures, we're going to make sure there are no gas leaks, we're going to do a carbon monoxide test, we're going to make sure your system is exhausting all the fumes out of your house, we're going to adjust your pressures, look at your temperatures, so that way your system is running efficiently and your family is safe. Great. Also, Brian, every time we come out, either for heating or cooling, we go up in the attic. You know, just one third of your system is sitting outside. A lot of a lot of things get ignored and overseen because nobody goes up in the attic, right? When was the last time that you were up there? No, uh, never. Yeah, so you have your duct work that could be leaking air up in the attic. It could be cooling your attic, or it could be sucking in dust from the attic from your return. Also, you have drainage that drains the water out of your house. With the humidity being like it is, we've been getting a lot of calls with ceilings that have fallen off because the system drainage hasn't been maintained. Hmm. Would you think that's something important? Absolutely. So, in, in order, when we come out, we don't just give you a little paper and say that we're done. We actually have a big checklist here of everything that we do when we come out. So we will go through every single component of your air conditioning and your heating and we'll give you readings on what those components are looking like and we're going to let you know if it's in good stance, if it needs attention or if it has failed. Mm -hmm. So that way you're being proactive and you have a chance of fixing a small problem before it becomes a big one. And this goes through every part of the system? That's correct. So this is all the air conditioning side here. This is all your heating and you get two of these. Uh, for the year with, uh, with the, the, the specs of how everything is running. If there are any recommendations, we're going to make them down here in the bottom and we're going to let you know and then you can decide if you want to take care of that or not. So I know exactly what state my system is in at all times. That's correct. Yeah. Excellent. So by doing this, we're going to be much more likely to catch the big problems before they turn into big problems? Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what you're doing. Yep.